He wrote, quote, to the people of uh, New York 3, I have my story to tell, and it will be told next week. So is James Ford live in Mineola with the very latest. Hi there, James. And yes, you saw that. What we haven't seen is George Santos, and that is helping to make his list of critics grow even longer and more vocal. What more do we need to see? Six words at the center of yet another group's call for Congressman-elect George Santos to step aside as a list grows ever longer of alleged fabrications and misrepresentations by him about his resume and life story. The latest involves Santos's claimed ancestral history. To exploit the murder of six million Jews for political gain is one of the most egregious acts, if not the most egregious act that he has committed. Nassau County legislator Joshua Lafazan, a Democrat, assembled leaders of the Jewish community to respond to claims Santos has made in speeches and elsewhere that his grandparents had fled the Holocaust. Genealogical research by The Forward, a Jewish publication, found that to be false. Every day of my life, my mother talked about concentration camps. Izzy Weisfellner is the son of Holocaust survivors who lives in Santos's district. There's nothing you can say but resign. In addition to Santos allegedly not being Jewish, as he's claimed, an investigation by the Daily Beast news site shows that his campaign received at least $60,000 from a Russian oligarch's financial manager. The Daily Beast also found state records showing that the man who ran as the first openly gay non-incumbent Republican to win a congressional seat had married a woman and divorced her a week and a half before launching a failed bid for Congress in the 2020 election. That's all in addition to possible distortions of his record that Santos has made, according to a New York Times investigation, including attending Baruch College and NYU, having employment in investment positions at Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, running an animal rescue charity, and management of his family's investment firm. On Thursday, Santos was heard from for the first time since those allegations surfaced on Monday. In this tweet, he said, in part, I have my story to tell, and it will be told next week. Also on Thursday, New York Attorney General Letitia James said that she's looking into the allegations about Santos. And that could include possible charges of fraud or financial improprieties. Also, we heard today from the head of the Republican Party here in Nassau County, who made this statement in part saying, voters deserve a sincere accounting from Mr. Santos. I will be listening attentively, and I want to hear meaningful remarks from George Santos.